Okay, so I am Professor Nicholas Rao. I am uh, a Roman archaeologist in the Classics program uh, in the School of Languages and Cultures in the College of Liberal Arts at Purdue. Uh, between, I do survey archaeology, I do kind of landscape archaeology, which means we sort of are get permission from the Turkish government to go to a region in Turkey, I work on the south coast of Turkey, directly north of Cyprus, an ancient region known as Cilicia, and we have a team of people and we kind of walk systematically across the landscape and when we encounter, and when we encounter ancient remains, we process them. And um, we um, uh, also collect the artifacts that are on the ground. These are primarily broken pieces of pottery. It's ancient trash. It comes to the surface either through plowing or through erosion or what or looting or whatever, and so we process that. Pottery helps us date the remains. That's why it's really kind of important. Uh, and we uh, take a photograph. We try to take a photograph of every uh, um, artifact that we process. We measure it. We describe it. And also, most importantly, we take coordinates in some way. So every artifact is connected to a GPS location to within 10 meters, shall we say, if we do grab collections. And so all of that can be mounted in Google Earth, and you can see real-world coordinates of where we're finding this stuff. So the end result of this, and one of the challenges that we had, I had, with this material, is that it's basically ancient trash. It's not very photogenic. It's not something that people want to necessarily generate in books, especially uh, in color. And so you're talking about broken pieces of pottery in black and white, it has absolutely no value uh, to, to anybody working with the data in that way. So uh, I was hesitant to put it into a hard copy format. They usually don't want the data if it really gets to be hundreds of pages as well. And so uh, I was approached by the Purdue Libraries of the possibility of doing it uh, in the Purdue University Research Repository, or PER. Uh, I work with um, Standa Peja, who was absolutely instrumental in uh, helping me organize this in an intelligible manner. I'm very, very happy that it's up and, uh, and available to the public now in living color. <laughs>